In Ark Survival Evolved, Kibble is essential for fast teaming and for the high level dinos getting that maximum team efficiency. But what makes an efficient Kibble farm? In this video I will show you the best dino to team for each Kibble class. So Kibble is basically food for the dinosaurs and there are 6 levels to Kibble. Basic, Simple, Regular, Special, Exceptional and Extraordinary. The Eggline Dinos of Ark have been split up into each of these kibble types. The size of their eggs determine which kibble class they belong to. Before you begin your kibble farms, you're going to need to preserve and bin to make jerky and you're going to need crop plots for your vegetables. Basic Kibble Basic covers the smallest of the dinosaurs. Although not every creature in Ark is a dinosaur, I'm going to call them dinos for this video because it gets very confusing otherwise. Let's assume all egg laying creatures in Ark are dinosaurs. Basic kibble is used to tame the Dilophosaur, Dodo, Karakuru, Parasaur, Bioma and the Mesosith... <laughs> the little monkey. Of these, I would recommend the Dodo. It's the easiest team in the game. Simply punch it in its head, shove it full of berries, and it's yours. Dodos are small enough that you can get a decent sized kibble farm going without using much real estate. And dodos, they're so fast, it won't take you long to get a good collection of them. As you can see from the recipe on the screen, you do not need crops for a basic kibble. Simple kibble. Amongst the egg layers for simple kibble, you may already have in your collection a raptor or two, probably a tri. Simple Kibble is used to tame the Archeopithera, Diplo, Gallimus, the Iguanodon, the Megaloceros, the Morelator, Pachi, the Raptor, the Trike. You can also use it to passively tame the Giant Bee and the Dolphin. For Simple Kibble, I would recommend the Pegamastids. Simply fill your end slot with some major berries and let the little tea leaf steal its way into your collection. Like the dodo, they are small so you can easily build up quite a sizable collection for your farm and they won't take up much real estate. From now on you do need crops for your kibble, so make sure you have some rock carrot grown for your simple kibble. Regular kibble. Regular kibble covers a lot of the mid-tier teams, so you'll probably find this is the one you use the most. Regular kibble is used to tame the anglerfish, the anki, the baryonyx, frog, turtle, carnum, the dimetrodon, the doed, the ithy, the pelican, not the dolph, dolph, dolphin, dolphin. The capro, the kentro, the lamantria, the pelagonarus, pterodon, the scorpion, the pelovia, the saber tooth, darko, the steg, the terabird, the thorny dragon, and the velonosaur. And you can also use it to passively tame Diplo, the equus, the horse, and the big monkey. He's not a monkey, he's a gorilla. He's a big foot. Gigantopithecus. For regular kibble, my recommendation would be. The Iguanodon. Yes, the turtles are more common along the beaches, but I feel that the Iguanodon would take up less real estate. Both the turtle and the Iguanodon are found on the coastal areas, but the Iguanodon takes less time to tame and it uses less trunks as well. For regular kibble, part of the recipe will require long grass and savo root. Superior kibble. Now we are heading for the big boys of Ark. Superior kibble is used to tame the aloe, the argy, the beaver, Deodon, Dire Bear, Dire Wolf, Donkey, the Gasbags, the Mammoth, the Megalodon, the Megalosaurus, the Megatherium, Parasitherium, Plessy, the Snow Owl, Tapajara, and the Woolly Rhino. Now, collecting large eggs may seem daunting, but there is a dino you can get right at the beginning of the game. It's my recommendation for Superior Kibble the Moss Chops. These dino dogs can be tamed in a number of ways. You just need to look around for one that possesses something that you already own. Usually Major Berries or Tinto Berries. The moss Chops are common on all maps, usually around the easy stages. You can easily collect a harm. Before you have your crops and your sap ready to go, you're already going to have a collection of eggs. Exceptional Kibble. We are now entering Endgame Arc. To be honest, a lot of these dinos are going to be a challenge. The Bronto is probably the easiest one to tame. Due to its sheer size, you're not going to miss with your arrows. But that size will be a factor when you're looking at your real estate. Realistically, you probably only have room for maybe one or two females. Exceptional Kibble is used to tame the Brontosaurus, Giga, the Giant Crab, the Mangamamama, the Mosa, Quetz, the Rex, the Spino, and the Therenzino. You also use it to passively tame the Basilosaurus, the best underwater creature, and the Tropiognathus. My recommendation for Exceptional Kibble is the Rex. 
At this stage in the game, you're probably hunting Rexes for the boss battles. You may have already earmarked a part of your base for them. You're going to be breeding them. You want those levels up. You want to get all the mutations. You're going to have a ton of eggs. It makes sense to use these. Now this kibble incorporates vocal chili. Don't forget to plan that as part of your resources as well. Now on a personal note, I think it's absolutely ridiculous that the Giga is lumped in with this lot. What do you think? Extraordinary kibble. I think the devs have got this an exceptional mix though. Want to read this out to you now? Let me know in the comments, does this make sense to you? Doesn't to me. Why does the Thyla take the hardest kibble when the Giga does not? It's ridiculous. Okay, Extraordinary Kibble is used to tame the Space Whale, the Griffin, the Megalania, the Rock Elemental, Thylo and the Uti. My recommendation for Extraordinary Kibble is the Uti. Now for size, you could tame a flock of Hesponaris. To get a chance of a golden egg, you want to take the Hesponaris out and hunt five fish for a chance. It's a lot of work, whereas the Uti... If you're already planning for boss battles at this stage, you're probably out looking for a pair anyway because you want to breed them up. They're not easy to tame, sure, but like the Rex, you know, you want them in your base. Extraordinary Kibble will require Lazarus Chowder, so again, plan that into part of your recipe list. For my list, I want to consider the following. Ease of tame, the size of the dino and the map that they were on. Looked at the island, because that's where most people start. Alternative dinos may be more suitable, but they may not be available on every map. I do have one dino that covers all six kibble types though. That, my friends, is the Maywing. The Maywing, although it doesn't have a gender, can be bred. And one of the special things, unique things about the Maywing is they give you different sized eggs. A pair of Maywings, leave them on breed, and you could end up with extraordinary kibble, exceptional kibble, regular, simple, basic. Gives you the lot. Okay, what did you think of my list? Would you pick differently let me know in the comments the video on the screen now will show you more hints and tips on art so you can continue enjoying this wonderful game i'll see you on one of them